Three moons have already passed since Abel went down into the valley. He should have been back for some time. I'm worried. The snows have melted completely. This would be a fine place to put the flock to pasture. Do you hear him? Has returned, I give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, over here, Father, 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 there you are, lost. Oh, Father. Just think, Father, I left with 30 sheep and I returned with 40. Ten lambs have been born. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, come here. Little one, come here. Ah. You see? You're a fine son, Abel. The blessing of the Lord be upon you. your mother, little one. The Lord God had said, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, subdue and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over all things that crawl on the earth. As for you, woman, I will greatly multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain ye shall bring forth children. And you, man, in the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread until you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. And Adam obeyed. He united with Eve, his wife, and with her affronted the difficulties of life. Eve gave him two sons, first Cain and then Abel. Cain was a farmer, a tiller of the soil. Abel was a shepherd. Um, Mother, you're tired. Sit down. We'll take care of the potatoes. Thank you, my dear daughters. You're very thoughtful. <sighs> I've told you over and over again not to cross my fields. Take care of your sheep and leave my grain alone. Even if you have to walk double the distance, don't cross my fields. Cain, what are you saying? Can't you hear the voice of our father, Adam? He's calling us. Yes, I heard him. Instead of laboring and sweating as I do, he's always sitting there on that rock. And every now and then says he's spoken with God. What I'd like to know, however, is does God listen to him? Does God answer him? That's what I call having a conversation. But I think he's grown lazy now that he's got two grown sons to do the heavy work. All this speaking to God is just pretends to avoid work. Hey, you. Abel. Come, my sons. It is time for us to start preparing our offerings to the Lord. All right, go ahead this one time. But the next time I catch you crossing my fields, I'll kill you. Now you've been warned. Here, Father, here is my offering to the Lord. If you are truly happy to offer the fruits of the ground to the Lord, then I am sure that they will be pleasing unto him. But do you offer them with joy and gratitude in your heart, Cain? 
Of course I'm happy to offer them to the Lord Father, even though it cost me a great deal of effort to bring them here. I would have preferred to stay at home and rest. Working all day in the fields is very tiring. So it must be. It is the will of the Lord. Yes, but while I labour and sweat in the fields, you do nothing but sit under a tree and talk to him. Cain, you always find something to complain about. And what is your offering, Abel? The firstborn of the flock. May it please the Lord. It will please him if you offer it in joy and gratitude. The Lord can see inside my heart, Father. He knows that it is overflowing with joy and gratitude towards him. Blessed be the Lord above all else. Blessed be the Lord God omnipotent. May he ever be blessed. Blessed be his name. Blessed be his name. O Lord on high, we beg you to accept these, the fruits of our labors, which we offer you in gratitude for your love. Where's Cain? That will please the Lord. Still at work. Uh, uh. God sees into all hearts and cannot be deceived. Cain, my son, are you in there? What is it, father? I see you are building up riches, my son. Everything I have is yours, father. I've already told you that many a time. I don't know how else to make you understand. Yes, I know, Cain. You've told me so many and many a time, and I've heard you every time. But your actions seem driven by greed rather than generosity. Father, how can you say such a thing? It's all for the good of the family. Oh, certainly. But whenever the family needs anything from your precious hoard, you complain and moan bitterly before giving it over. But you know everyone in the family is very careless. They waste things constantly, Father. That's why they're always asking for fresh supplies. You seem unhappy even at the moment of making your offerings to the Lord, my son. But today I brought a beautiful basket of fresh fruit, Father. Yes, but you took no joy in the gift, Cain. The Lord was able to read the dissatisfaction in your heart. Is that true? How do you know? Did he tell you? And what did he tell you about Abel? He must be very pleased with Abel. <sighs> I'm the one who works from dawn to dusk out in the fields under the boiling sun, and I maintain this family with my labors. And yet the Lord is not content with me. Why did you allow Abel to be born? Abel loves you, Cain. You cannot be blind to that. He's always praising your work in the fields. He admires you tremendously, my son. You're his older brother, our firstborn. Fear not, father. I will always do whatever you tell me. It's God's command. I am pleased to hear you say that, son. Good night. May God help him keep the promise he just made. Going to the pastures further up the hill. It's time to round them up. All right. Come on, come sheep. Let's go. That's it. Father? Father, father! I didn't expect to see you until tonight. Why have you come here? I wanted to talk to you about Cain, your brother. You see, within his bosom, he has a serpent that torments him, but he loves you. 
I know, I know that, Father, and I will always treat him with the respect he deserves. I promise you have my word on that. You're a good son, Abel. May God cause his countenance to shine upon you. Go now. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye. everywhere. Yes, you're the Lord. Have you spoken with Abel? Why do you ask me this? What is it that worries you? I have no need of speaking with him. You are the one I wish to talk to. You are the one whose behavior worries me. Speak then, Lord. Why is your face always sad? I don't know. Yes, you do. Change your behavior and go back to smiling. Evil awaits in ambush. You must fight and conquer it. I will do it, Lord. I will try to, Lord. If I'm able to, I'll try. Will I be able to, Lord? You, who know all things, you can tell me. Answer me, please, Lord. Answer me! Abel. We haven't seen him. Son, you have the bloodlust in your eyes. What do you need that club for? Mother, you have nothing to be afraid of. You've always been worried that I'm jealous of him. But I'm not. Not in the slightest bit. I just want to talk with him. What's worrying you, my dear wife? We have ten lambs and the crop should be good this year. Cain was just here for a minute. And? He was looking for Abel and talking as though he were crazed. Then you're right to be worried. I'll go and look for him. Speak to you, brother. Cain, can't you see he's busy milking sheep? You two girls can finish that off without him. And when you're through, take the milk up to Mother. She already has the fire going under the pot. Yes, girls, you finish off while I go and see what my brother needs. Oh. oh. Why did you come for me, Cain? Because I heard a lamb bleating in the middle of a grain field. It must be one of yours. 
It's best if you find him, because if I do, I'll build a fire and roast him on the spot. <laughs> you try over there. I'll go this way. Where are you? Where are you? Ah, there you are, my sweet little lamb. I'll get you out of that noose right away, you naughty thing. I wonder who tied you up. Who would do such a thing? I was the one, beloved brother! I think I'll sit down for a moment, and then let's go back oh. home. They'll come back. Oh, it's one of Abel's lambs. <laughs> How did you get so far away from the flock? of your brother's blood has called me down to earth and I am come. You are a cursed Cain. Flee from the ground which by your hand has drunk of your brother's blood. You are a cursed Cain by the blood of your brother. When you work the earth, she shall refuse to give you her fruits and you shall be a wretched fugitive forever. I've murdered brother Abel. Do not abandon me. I am here, Cain. Uh, my guilt is too great to hope for your pardon. You send me away from my lands and I must hide far away from you. I'm afraid, Lord. I will become a fugitive, wretched and despised, and anyone I meet could kill me. <laughs> What's happened here? What's happened to my two fine sons, Lord? Help me to understand. I cannot begin to understand. <laughs> brother has killed brother, Lord. I know Abel was dear to you, but I have lost both of my sons and am overcome with grief. Now Abel's blood must be washed away with Cain's blood. Whoever meets him must slay him to bring about justice. No, Adam, that is not my will. 
then he will have to live with his sin for the rest of his days. Lord God, this is a worse punishment than death. He will never find peace. Whoever slays him shall know my vengeance sevenfold. He shall wander the earth lonely and wretched until the end of his days. I have put a sign on his forehead so that anyone who sees him will know not to slay him. <laughs>